Hi everybody, just a little bit about uh, street photography tonight. I'm uh, in Berlin here. Uh, it's really, really cold, but I couldn't resist it. And I wanted to go out and take some shots at about eight, nine o'clock this evening. I did this and I tell you what, it's so bloody cold. I couldn't stand it for more than 45 minutes. But, you know, like all photography, it's worth it because I came back with two shots, which I think are great, maybe three. Uh, but I wanted to show you a few night shots and that's what I was doing is nighttime shooting. It's winter, it's dark before uh, by four, four o'clock, five o'clock. One of the things about street photography is, is that you do actually, you know, you hear all types of opinion about what it is. And this, you know, the thing about it is it's exactly what it says it is. It's going out on the street with your camera and you're looking for uh, interesting compositions and of course you want to frame those compositions so that there's a focal point in your shot um, something interesting that catches the eye that draws the eye in um, but at night time it's very different and of course you're dealing with the problem of having to wind up that ISO so high that um, in some cases that uh, really you just get so much noise uh, it doesn't work tonight I went out and went, in, went into uh, a park where there was a hell of a lot of light surrounding the park and there were street lamps in the park and one or two people walking along uh, and it was so difficult. I was even just photographing pools of light and trying to get that lovely shifting shadow to light feeling. And for me, you know, they're nice, but I wouldn't see that they are of interest to other people in any way. Um, but nevertheless, you know, just always sort of Keep your eyes open for all types of uh, interesting night shots and try and keep the ISO right down. Generally, if you're on a crop sensor camera or even a full frame, anything above 1600, 2000 and it's very dark, you're going to be probably getting into trouble because night shooting, you should be thinking about light and shadow and that light is very intense. Uh, it's artificial light and it's casting the shadows which are very dark and the light itself just around its small area is going to be very intense and so the ISO is going to be battling away to figure out what to do and you get lots of noise in the shadow especially uh, and uh, things get blown out. On the way there I'm taking a train, the underground train and on the way I, I occasionally I'll take a shot but sometimes I see something that I just find really interesting and I've got to photograph it and so I do it and I've got to admit sometimes I just hope for the best by holding the camera which is a DSLR uh, either my full frame or a crop sensor because it's nice and light uh, and I'll just hold it down close to my lap and uh, just go click and I just estimate the focus and the is rather the uh, f-stop and i get a good shot sometimes and sometimes not biggest problem is uh, blurredness but there you go uh, this particular shot which i show you now i took that in an u-bahn station it was unter den linden in berlin a brand new station really big and broad and lovely and it's well lit so it's easy to take shots in there but in every european country um, berlin especially and people know the law and they don't want you taking shots of them directly, but you are allowed to take shots. Your street photography is fine. It's seen as an art form and you can go out and take street photos. People are in those photos and it's really none of their business that they are in those photos. There's just no portrait, street portrait photography. That's all. So anyway, just don't forget that, you know, if, if you're just starting street photography, the real thing to do is just go out there and find out what floats your boat in terms of composition, color, black and white maybe, because it's a wonderful um, way to work in black and white. Um, and um, you know, how you want to see the figures in your photos, people on the street. Uh, I have a few photos where um, I've noticed a common theme with me is somebody from behind, but they are actually in action. They're doing something like climbing the stairs and I really in, enjoy taking shots like that. It's people, when a person is moving, there's a sense of tension and that's what you're looking for. Uh, these days you don't see people running too much. I don't know why, but you don't see people running down the street because that would be great if you saw that every day. Uh, or people, you know, really even a negative situation, people squabbling in the street, you know, that type of thing. 
uh, red faces, sweaty foreheads and stuff. It'd be great shots, you know. Uh, but there's not a lot of that about. Uh, I don't know why. But you do get people, uh, and at least they're doing something different to going to work or coming back or going shopping or coming back from shopping. There are people hanging out, doing things, sitting in groups. But you know, right now it's really cold here with minus eight, minus 10 degrees, uh, and nobody's hanging out on the street. That's the way it is. That's winter for you. Anyway, I hope you like the shots. Um, and uh, if you like my channel, like my work, just looking at my work. If you're a beginner or maybe even intermediate, you might be able to learn something by just looking at them. And if you want to know sort of how some, something worked, how I did it and how I got my photo looking the way it is, please just ask in the comments and I will answer you and I'll try to be as articulate as I possibly can so that you can take it away and use it. Okay, Don't, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, all the best. Bye bye.